I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. You have a helmet on! What are you doing? Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. A uh, huge shout out to those of you watching these videos and the premieres and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on Patreon.com slash Online. Sincerely appreciate you guys. Because of you, I get to go to Disney uh, and I'm probably already in Disney hopefully if i'm right and i edited these videos before i left for disney then you're watching it while i've been to disney unless you're watching it in the future in which case i already went to disney the point is miranda is on screen right now because we're actually going to undertake her loyalty mission and i think it is fitting that we're on helium it makes sense this is a time sensitive thing for miranda we want miranda to to be on Corey Shepard's side and not necessarily still be so loyal to Cerberus because we don't trust Cerberus. We never have, we never will. We don't want Miranda. We want to make sure that she trusts us over Cerberus, right? We want her to like us. But anyways, we have Lantea in front of us here and we know from Miranda's discussion with us on the Normandy that this is the person that knows where her sister is. That's Ms. exactly Lawson? who we I'm need to talk to. It. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. Wait a minute, who's Niket? He didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and the cat are the only two I trust on this. And naturally, Corey Shepard is going to want to know about these mercs that are being hired. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. Great. Then, what should we do? It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. And what about Niket? I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. You know... Alright, let's go. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. You're darn tootin'. So, I don't really... I mean, here's the thing. Miranda is not a very... She doesn't trust people, right? But yet, here she is trusting this Niket person, and I feel like that's just the wrong call. So we get to pick our squad here. Miranda, just like any other loyalty mission, you have to bring the person whose loyalty mission it is. Doesn't really make sense if you don't. The person that I would recommend actually bringing on this mission is actually going to be Jack for a few reasons. One, Jack is just really cool, and we haven't really seen her in battle yet. The other reason is because Miranda and Jack have this relationship throughout this game where they're, it's super toxic, they hate each other, but eventually there needs to be something here. So I feel like Jack seeing Miranda's troubles might help Jack a little bit, just like Miranda seeing Jack's troubles might help Miranda and Jack, you know, you know what I mean? So we're, we're bringing, we're going to bring Jack with us as well. Also, uh, the main reason is that Jack has dialogue that we want to see. So, uh, this is where we're at right now. Shockwave at two, pull at three. Really, that's just so that we can create uh, biotic explosions by using a pole and then a warp on it to detonate. Um, and then we have Primal Adept, which is really good. And then uh, we are just chilling with Miranda right now. We're going to wait until she levels up again so that we can max out either... Uh, we're going to go with Cerberus Leader because that's actually just very good. 
And uh, we're going to keep, we're going to switch the cane here because there's not going to be an opportunity to really use that. Instead, we're going to go with avalanche here, uh, which is a pretty fun weapon to use. Mm, I think we're pretty good with what we have. Damn it. Yeah. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. cover behind them let's hope they really do want to take us alive <sighs> That guy's got some serious uh, armor equipment. not equipped. firing yet. I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, knows about Niket? What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Uh, what about Oriana's age? Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. Very interesting. Either way, we're with Miranda. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get up. You know what? <laughs> That's the way you do it, Solarian. He looks terrified because we're awesome. So we're immediately going to go into cover. Luckily for us, we don't really have to deal with too much here. We are going to go ahead and do this just so that that's ready to go. And let's go ahead and pull. And then we're going to warp so that we can get a detonation. Perfect. We got more coming in. Some troopers. We're going to charge in there. Now, there's a heavy as well that we want to watch out for. Which, uh, you know, didn't really do too much. Look at all these guys sitting back here. An engineer as well that we're just going to, you know. Go ahead and charge this. Get rid of them. And then, again, I want to try doing these biotic things that we can do all the time. So, we're going to go ahead and warp it as well. For Tactician, there we go. And we'll go ahead and... Where? What are you doing? Hey, come over here. Whoop! Okay, I mean, do you see? Do you see? Do you see what I mean? It's just like... We can go ahead and use her Shockwave. She's very similar to uh, Shepard's Shockwave. I mean, it's the same darn shockwave similar to the scions as well but there we go that that fight is done if you don't do the renegade option so you actually don't lose any morality points for doing that renegade option of snapping the merc leader's neck you just have more people to fight if you don't do that obviously uh you know the way that you would want to counter that is just snap his neck you don't lose anything all you get is a really cool scene you don't have to worry about it hell that's what i want anyways we can grab some of these thermal clips because we need the ammo now Perfect. Back up to full. And uh, looks like there's an elevator here and a dead merc body. 
killed this guy. Interesting. Let's use this elevator. That's why his body's there. Interesting. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. You never gave her age. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. All right, then let's get your sister. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Hmm. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. So shoot at everything. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Hell yeah. Right. Let's do it. So we're going to use this elevator and we're going to go up to a next room. That's actually a fairly difficult place. But there is a way of making this not too bad for us. Uh, so we're actually going to go this way first. Because there is a very easily missable PDA here that we can hack. Alright, looks like the Eclipse is on the other side. But we're going to go ahead and hack this first for 1,500 credits. Which we can easily get because we spent money on something that I shouldn't have spent money on. Which is the uh, the hacking thing that we did. You know, I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have done it. Okay? I shouldn't have bought it. I did, though. And now I have to live with, with that. I feel like we're just never getting what we need. So, it's like, it's a good thing that... Anytime. There it is. <laughs> I was like, shit. Well, good thing I did, man. We would have lost out on 1,500 credits. Probably not worth, but still. Anyways, we're going to run over to this side here. You could go the right side as well, but I actually don't think that that is your best option. Let's go ahead and get our squad mates into cover. If we go this way, we're actually going to deal with these guys uh, kind of being... They're going to keep coming over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop this. We'll pull. And then hope we'll be able to biotic warp before it falls perfect go ahead and hit this engineer now the engineers are going to be calling out combat drones like like that like well no that was an incineration blast uh but we want to make sure that we are trying to get these shields off there we go perfect and then we'll go ahead and pull and warp again Tactician 4 out of 20. So apparently I missed the other one. Go ahead and hit this Eclipse. I can't tell if that's an explosive behind of it or not. Pull this one. Wait for Miranda. Oh, Miranda's dead. So let's go ahead and Unity. And warp. 5 out of 20. But you can see what I mean. This is probably the best way to deal with these guys. It's just because... They're not going to do too much here. We'll wait. Wait for cooldowns. Pull. Oh, I missed. At least the incinerate isn't hitting us. We'll go ahead and charge. Actually, that was the last one. And that's probably not a good sign that... Inyala, the captain of the Eclipse here, is mentioning... 
Niket. Niket is nearing the transport, so they're watching Niket, or Niket is working with them. Either way, Miranda might have put her trust in the wrong person. So we're going to continue over here. And in this crate, we'll be able to find a med kit, which is probably a better idea not to use med kits ever so that you can get those credits. Because now, like I said, we need to start thinking about that. And I'll we can get it. a submachine gun damage research that we can upgrade as soon as we get back to the Normandy, which is actually going to be uh, not after this mission. It'll be after we recruit somebody. But we got some mech soldiers here. Some Loki mechs. I'm going to charge here just so that these guys are very fragile. So we're going to go ahead and pull and then warp so we can get another detonation. Perfect. Six out of 20. We can open this locker here for 1,500 credits, which is kind of, you know, it's easy to miss because I don't think we've ever done that before. I'm going to go ahead and pop that, pull, and wait for her warp. Warp. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, you're going to do it or not? Watch out for the other troopers that are, like, on the side there. Unfortunately, they took Jack down. We're not going to worry about getting Jack up. We'll have plenty of time to get her, get the uh, tactician trophy. No shields. But in charge, probably not the best thing to, uh, to come in over here. But, hey, what are you going to do? Go ahead and overload and charge. Get our shields back. Whoop. Go ahead and finish off that engineer. I mean, you can, you know what I mean? I know I say this every episode. God, Vanguard is just so good. Go ahead and come in handy. scan this for Metagel capacity, which we could, we shouldn't upgrade that. You can see that there's like so many areas that you can go over. Uh, I'm not letting her get Oriana. Which is pretty cool. This is actually the way we have to go. So let me just make sure we didn't miss anything. Since I did charge across the room, you know. And here, there's a secure terminal in this, like, little... Yeah, see, exactly. This is why I came back. Because I was like, I, I know I'm missing something. We'll go ahead and uh, hack this. Whoa, who are we shooting at? Whoa! Go ahead and pull this, and then warp right away. Perfect. Seven out of twenty. All right. I don't know where those came from actually, but hey, I'll take it. Anyway, now we can hack this. Let's go ahead and do that, and get some moolah. Three thousand credits from this one, which is uh, very, very, very good. I will take that, no problemo. And boom, three thousand credits. Again, we need to be. We need to be we need to start thinking about our credit spending and, and, and uh maybe not scan so much right now and just kind of chill while while we do that and i think that's everything that we can get here uh we could fill up on thermal clips since we did just fight those there's another one over there and i believe that's everything that we can get on this side so we'll continue through here and we're gonna go to a place called dock 94 which i am pretty sure is a reference to the dock that the millennium falcon was in we're gonna go ahead and destroy these troopers. Go ahead and pull. And then warp. Oh, warp missed. You hate to see it. Unfortunately, charge won't actually work as a thing here. A lot of these enemies just were not here before. Go ahead and back up. And we'll go ahead and pull. And her warp should be available. Perfect. There we go, eight out of 20. I mean, we're, we're doing okay here. We're gonna go ahead and start charging this so that when we come around here, we can pop on this trooper. Oh, it just immediately deleted him. That's too bad, you hate to see it. Well, he hates to see it, I don't hate to see it. So if we come over here, I think this is the Dock 94 area that I was telling you about, but we're actually going to be dealing with uh, two enemy, or a bunch of enemies that are gonna be coming from across here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kind of get up into cover. You'll see that there's a heavy, an engineer. It's fine. Gonna go ahead and pull this trooper. And then warp. Get those tactician points. I actually don't know if that counted. Oddly enough. Wait for these cooldowns. We're kind of just chilling while we work on getting these this tactician trophy. We'll have plenty of time to do it during this game, trust me, but. And then we'll warp. Although it doesn't seem to be counting now, so now I'm a little worried. 
wait and see if we can get this engineer. Got the engineer. Perfect. Get out of here, combat drone. We can go ahead and come up just a little bit here. And pull this engineer. Unfortunately, he died. Go ahead and charge in here. That'll put us into this area here. Finish this trooper. Get our stuff. There's a PDA that we can hack over here. But now we're on the other side. We can kind of... troll a la 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 And pull. Apparently pull didn't work, so we'll warp it. Oh, no, it did. It just was being weird. That's strange. Getting hit by incinerate there, which is fine. I think I think that guy's dead now, though. Yeah, he's dead. All right, so let's go ahead and hack this PDA for more 3,000 credits, which I want all of. Thank you very much. Again, we want as many as possible. We actually get a fair, fair amount from loyalty missions. Some loyalty missions. We'll grab this. Uh, let's see. I was going to say we'll call our crew over, but I think we're going to be just fine. We'll pull, and then we'll work. Perfect. Once this area is clear and you're full on ammo and all of that jazz, we can run over here and there's actually a terminal that we can access for another 3,000 credits. And then obviously proceeding forward, we're going to be dealing with, uh, there we go. We're going to be dealing with more enemies, which I think we can deal with. We're going to go ahead and hit this engineer. Go ahead and pull him. And then we will work for Tactician 11. Nice. Pop this. That will explode on that guy. And then we want to watch out for this combat drone as well, which we should be able to pop. We'll go ahead and pop here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and pull this one. That one is... That one is... That one is dead. But then behind it, we actually have, for the first time, an Eclipse Vanguard. I think that's the first time we've seen one of those. Warp, obviously, being very, very useful. Go ahead and overload that guy's shield. Watch out for this engineer as well. Switching to the Geth shotgun. Son of a bitch. I am a heavy. Go ahead and pop that. And then we'll actually pull. And warp for yet another 12 out of 20. We might even be able to get it in this. If we're, if we're slow and methodical here, we might actually be able to get this. Watching out for those as I get hit, because I stink. Let's go ahead and finish this Eclipse Vanguard. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and finish that guy as well. Watch out for the heavy. And charge right through its rockets. How did that not hit it? Jeez. We'll get power cells for extra 100. We could just never use medi gels or but that can't be right ah uh, that's a reveal get a uh, medical station there for another 100 credits remember that's what we want we want credits at this point we don't need meta gel we don't need heavy ammo we're not even going to use it we haven't used it yet that actually would have been a good spot to use it because they're all coming from that door this elevator right here but we didn't really need it so now that we got everything we can use this elevator snaket interesting so let's go ahead and use this. Maybe the captain knows we're some. listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Mass Effect One maybe elevator it means music. Something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it! Why won't this thing go any faster? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Well, you know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Now we're in Dock 94. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. 
I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. Hmm. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? I like her. Are we still recruiting? <laughs> That's why you bring Jack, my friends. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. Oh! You'll die for that, bitch! Here we go. That go. was dope. Come on. So we're immediately thrust into battle against a bunch of Eclipse, including Inyala, who fights like a biotic god. We're going to go ahead and put Miranda and Jack in a cover over there. And then I want to show you this little glitch. We're not going to really use it, but there's a there's a glitch that you can do where you can actually go into this column here that's in the elevator that you came out of. And the enemies won't really target you, which is kind of neat. We'll go ahead and pull that uh, actually killed her. So, taking out that vanguard on the side is going to allow us to hopefully start attacking Inyala here. We're going to go ahead and hit her with warp. Taking out a lot of her barrier. Now, we also want to be careful because not only is she here, but there's a tech operative on the other side of her, which is actually shooting at us now. So, we're going to just retreat back just a little bit. And unfortunately, we'll see if we can break this shield, which we can with a big overload. Watch out for that incinerate, because obviously that's going to do a ton of damage. Watch out for the troopers that are coming around this way. And hopefully we'll be able to do some damage. We'll back up just a bit here so that they don't shoot us into this. But, I mean, this is, like, obviously a very cheap way of doing it. But it's something that you 
you can do. We'll just punch this trooper to death. Perfect. Over here, we can grab a med kit for 100 credits so that before we have to actually use it. And then we can pop unity now that we got that and got the 100 credits. We're going to duck a little bit here. And let's go ahead and overload this Eclipse operative. We could just focus on Inyala here. And just try to see if we can break her uh, her armor out here, which we should be able to do. Go ahead and warp her armor. And then we'll go ahead and switch to the SMG. Switch to Incendiary. And hopefully get her armor off. Wait for warp to come back. And we're actually going to pull her and then warp her. Get that tactician thing as well. As long as we should, we should be able to. Perfect. 16 out of 20. And y'all are looking very low on health. We're going to see if we can actually... Actually, this is a perfect time. We're going to switch to this. We're going to go ahead and pull on the operative. Hopefully, warp comes back. Perfect. Great. Go ahead and switch to this. See if we can get this trooper. Charge this operative. Get him out of there. Destroy that trooper that was frozen. And this trooper that's frozen. And then we can go ahead and uh, hopefully take this guy out. Let's do another pull. And then another pull. 17 out of 20. But there's even more enemies. Did we get them all? And Yala was kind of frozen. Oh, she's still... What are you doing? Are you... I don't... What are you doing? What? Hello? And Yala completely not attackable right now. She's she's glitching more than I am. We were able to do a warp though. Let's see if we can pull her. Nope, she still has so she has a barrier on her right now, uh, which is what's stopping us from from actually uh, being able to pull her. Let's go ahead and pull. Unfortunately, she still has barrier over here, so we're going to just go ahead. We can't charge right now, unfortunately, so it's kind of annoying, uh, but let's go ahead and... And she's dead. Well, I tried to get the tactician. That was a little weird. Smokes near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Yeah, well, let's get this here. We'll get 3,000 credits from that. We can also grab this trinket here. This locket has a picture of an Asari and a human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. And that will give us a quest to deliver the locket. And I believe that's all of the enemies that we can fight here. Niket obviously murdered by Inyana. That was a very sloppy fight, but uh, we were able... I mean, we were able to do it. It's just I wasn't able to really do the stuff that I wanted to do. But it's fine, it's fine. Uh, still, 17 out of 20 tactician. We're almost done with that trophy. Uh, d just in this one loyalty mission. Obviously, we're going to be able to get that, that very, very quickly. Insanity makes it a little bit harder because everybody's got multiple layers of protection. Those operatives being somebody that I would recommend taking down as quickly as possible. Um, and the fight doesn't end. Like, stuff will stop spawning eventually, right? But it doesn't end when you murder Inyana. Uh, but anyways... I believe that's everything that we could get here, the 3,000 credits and that locket. Make sure you pick up that locket. That's super, super important because it gives us that quest. That's everything that we can get here in Dock 49. 94. I don't remember. Go ahead and use this. We got the Metagel for 100 credits. We got... You know, we're, we're Gucci. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket weakness on my part any other old friends your father might use against you no I cut ties with everyone else anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus or you my father's powerful but he won't cross the elusive man you can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe it's okay Shepard 
My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. How cute is that? Her family's probably gonna have a hard time dealing with that information, but she will. Anyways, we'll level up there. Level 16 mission summary. Miranda's sister and her family successfully placed that location redacted. Mother's new job pays well enough to ensure comfort and ease. We'll keep Oriana under observation for her safety only. Miranda Lawson is too valuable to servers, and Oriana's well-being is easiest means of procuring loyalty. You're damn right it is. Miranda remains loyal to Cerberus. Now trust Shepard, or does she remain loyal to us? Miranda now has the uh, the biotic ability Slam, which is awesome. Uh, she's got a new outfit. She uh, we got the submachine gun, meta gel capacity and 30,000 credits as well as 500 element zero from this mission, which is perfect. That's all we need. And we get the trophy, the prodigal for uh, earning Miss Miranda's trust. And good for us, we are actually still on Elium. So we did not go back to the Citadel at all there, uh, which means that we can immediately start doing more recruitment issues for the Justicar and the Assassin, which my friends, we will do in the next video. It'll be an entire thing. But before we do that, I want to see if we can get a specific galactic news story. First time we've heard about Ashley. Planets in the Nubian further sightings of Shepard place her on horizon during the recent attack there. Council officials deny that Shepard is alive or that she is still working covertly as a Spectre. That's also new. So now that we heard a couple of those, uh, that's pretty much all we can do. I mean, it is potentially worth going and getting the Kestrel armor that I talked about now that we have some credits. Uh, potentially, we might actually be able to do that. So let's see what we can do here. This is, these right here is pretty much what we want. Charge, we're not, we're, we're charge the damage does it not, it's not why we use it. It's the melee and the shotgun that is really, really powerful. So this increases weapon damage uh, and everything else. So we're definitely going to, uh, we're definitely going to buy the, uh, the torso, the shoulder pieces, the power pack, and the arm C thing. We're not going to worry about the helmet because I don't really care. 3% weapon damage isn't enough and 3% uh, shields isn't enough. And headshot damage, I don't really care about either. So we're not going to worry about the helmet. We're going to steal. We're going to we're going to deal with what we have. So buying those is actually very useful. So in the next episode, my friends, we are going to go and recruit somebody known as the assassin, which uh, I'm excited.
because it's a very cool character, a fan favorite, and I think you guys are really going to like him. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. Uh, huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres, and a big shout out to those of you on patreon.com slash online. Thank you guys for supporting me and my channel and everything else, and I just, I love you. Thank you. Uh, I'm so excited that we're, we're actually, this is Act 2, if you will, of, of Mass Effect 2. And we're putting a real solid dent into it. Miranda's loyalty is now earned. But we have more research that we can do. We have new armor that's very good. And uh, it's just it's just good news all around. Next episode, we recruit a new team member. Thank you, guys. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to, uh, I don't know, to Miranda's father? Yeah. <laughs>